Transport bosses say Crossrail will be open by the end of June, although we're still no closer to knowing the exact dates. But the project is very keen to show that most of it was made in the UK, including the distinctive roundels. So we've been to the Isle of Wight to visit the family company behind them. Here's our transport correspondent, Tom Edwards. It looks like London, but this is actually the Isle of Wight, home to many of the signs you see on the tube. And now where they've created the new purple crossrail signs. These new roundels are designed to be different from the red roundel of the tube, but also so they feel part of the capital's network. The design for Crossrail, um, when, they, when they came up with the concept of, of the new stations, they wanted something unique in the, in the stations. The, so the signage, they wanted something that was going to stand out, be a bit different from what was there already, but also be in the same family of signs. So they came up with this, these beautiful stainless steel and glass and um, signage, which you see on, on, in here. Um, and then you have the sort of more of a standard product, which you'd, you'd see on TFL, which is this powder-coated aluminium, which would go on the outside of a station. Um, so it was just trying to put a unique twist on their own stations to give it a bit of design feature. This company, AJ Wells, which employs 10 members of the Wells family, started out making wooden stoves. But after the King's Cross fire, London Underground said all signage must be fireproof. For the new Crossrail signs, they're using new techniques and new designs. And purple is a tricky colour. Purple was quite challenging, yes, because we, it's something that we, we can enamel, um, but it's um, because it had to be illuminated and it had to be seen as a, as a flat colour as well, it was trying to kind of match up the two. So um, it, was, it was a bit of a challenge getting that one right. Transport for London is the biggest customer here. 96% of Crossrail contracts were awarded within the UK. The company also now supplies the Paris Metro. Transport bosses won't say when Crossrail will open exactly, but soon these purple signs will become part of London life. Tom Edwards, BBC London.